What do you guys think? Place your bets. 215. 20. So if you ask me, does the 10 wheel horsepower really worth it to how much it cost me building that intake manifold? I say, once you go boost, you're not going back. the next day after the dyno night I have button all the things that I have removed before I went to the uh, dyno shop and I want to see the igniter plug and see what it looked like because I saw it uh, I kind of saw a blue smoke coming out of from the tailpipe when he did the uh, drivability but it looks okay it looks fine so I think if there's any uh, blue smoke or a sign of oil from the tailpipe, I think it will be coming from the PCV valve. I hope you guys liked the, uh, the last episode. But anyway, uh, I would like to touch up a little bit on that intake manifold and also the numbers. Uh, as you know, it made 217 wheel horsepower with 100 and almost 167 uh, wheel torque. I know it's not much, but remember this is just a base setup. Yeah, it's not too crazy or a high compression crazy motor. Uh, I have upgraded the valve train on this one, blocks springs and blocks uh, titanium retainers, and also an F20B camshafts. But all in all, if you ask me, uh, it met my expectation. This is the reason why I also installed this motor. I went back to NA rather than keep using the turbocharged engine that I have. It's for everyone to see. But me, myself, I was really concerned about what the, that intake manifold was about. Yeah, I wanted to see if that thing can outperform the Euro R intake manifold, which is it did. This block I was using a stock head, stock camshafts, and a Euro R intake manifold, and it made 206.9 or 207 wheel horsepower. But now, with the addition of that intake manifold and a Type S camshafts and upgraded valve springs, it went up to about 10. Is gaining 10 wheels horsepower really worth it for all the time and the money that I spend making that intake manifold? The answer is yes, definitely. Uh, not just for myself, it is for everyone that wanted to get into this venture. Uh, the purpose of this motor being in here on this chassis Remember, this chassis has a uh, turbocharged motor. I took that off and put this on. And uh, that way, I build it from the ground up to the car, to the dyno session. That way, we could see. So, we'll just use this as a base. Since this is pretty much like it's a stock motor except for the uh, valve springs and the retainers and the camshafts and the intake manifold for everyone for our community to see that this is what you expect or this is how much horsepower you are expecting if you build one of these well this is with the dna of a g23 vtec so right there so it's a base model uh, for some of you guys that want performance a little bit higher than what I made here, then you can always do a little bit on the, some head work and uh, a high lift cams. But of course, once you get into that performance, reliability suffer. So for me, I'd rather have a motor that's not making way up high 
not making lower than what I expected but I think this one is right on the medium range and remember now the the reason for bringing this car to a dyno session is it's not about uh, finding the results on how much it's gonna make it's also about fine-tuning the motor that is to uh, bring it to its optimal performance that's what it is where I can really enjoy it reliably and it will not break on me and I'm lucky that uh, yeah it passed that test right there but the real test actually it's on the track that is the real test the intake manifold when I was making it I didn't hide any secrets I showed it to you guys what the problem I ran into and all the fixes so if you wanted to get into that uh, I gotta let you know again <laughs> how much it cost me that's coming up next okay and yeah that's it for the stroker and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and hit that like button and your notification bell and I'll see you guys back hey I want to thank everyone it's been what more than 3,000 uh, subscriber yeah I it's happening so fast that I didn't expect it that much I'm not really out there you know getting some subscriber but I really appreciate that I mean you guys made me do all this I'm all hyped now uh, I just wanted to share my experience even though not a good one <laughs> Everyone is not perfect, you know, we all make mistakes. But anyway, uh, like I've said, I appreciate all the subscribing and uh, all the comments, leaving that comments. And I hope I'm doing a good job answering all your questions. And for some of you that wanted to get a hold of me, uh, you can always just leave me a message and I will try to help you out as much as I can. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks again for watching. Bye everyone. See you guys back.